So now that we've checked if a user is premium or not, we want to go ahead and set Stripe up so we can actually use our pay with card button. So if you don't already have a Stripe account, you're gonna to want to go ahead and head over to stripe.com and as long as Stripe is available in your country, you can go ahead and sign in here. Now by signing in, we can either use existing details or we can go ahead and sign up. And the great thing about Stripe is you don't actually need to provide any details if you want to just play around with this and test. You don't need to sign up. So you can skip this step just here. So if I do that, what it will do is it will go ahead and sign me into my dashboard and give me a temporary account. If you want to carry on using this account after you've finished playing around with it, you are going to want to go ahead and save your account up here. But for now, a session has been stored and we can just come back to this later and use it. Now, just looking around the Stripe dashboard, we've got the difference here between live and test. Currently, I can't actually go to live because my account isn't activated. So we can only use our test API keys here. So apart from that, you've got uh, the total volume that you've collected in sales. You've got things like customers, which we're not going to be looking at storing. Also, you can filter through payments and things like that. But what we're interested in the moment is uh, at, this, uh, at the top of this page here, we've got this account uh, settings here. So I'm going to head over to this and I'm going to click on API keys. So these are the API keys that we use to connect with... Um, when we're writing code so we can connect to Stripe to be able to actually process payments. You're not going to be able to do anything without these. But the first thing that we want to do though is build this uh, premium.php page here. So let's go ahead and do that now. So let's create a new file in here. This is where the user is going to be able to click the payment button. So let's call this premium.php. So in here we want to bring in our initialization file, so app init.php, because we not need to access the user's details. And down here, let's uh, just create a basic document, and let's just say premium here. So inside of the body, we don't really need to write much ourselves, because Stripe provides us with the code that we need for this button. So if you head over to stripe.com slash docs slash checkout, this is basically the functionality we need to be able to enter card details and then actually process them. So here you can see a little demo of this. But down here, uh, Stripe provides us with some JavaScript here that allows us to actually do this. And I'll explain what this is in a moment. So you're going to want to head, uh, go ahead and copy this and paste it into here. And let's just sort the indentation out. So you might be wondering what this form is for. So the way this works is uh, this script here brings in the Stripe JavaScript library. And it's important to know it's served over HTTPS, obviously. Now it's also got a class of Stripe button, which is gonna style that out nicely. This, all of this will inject everything that your page needs to be able to uh, pull up this little uh, box and for the user to enter details, validation, things like that. The only thing that we need to change is some of these data attributes. Now the form itself is where the token will be passed through to once the user's uh, details have been validated basically. Now the token is um, essentially just a token that Stripe will generate on their end, give to you that you can then pass in the back end through the API. Now the important thing about this is that this means that you don't have to process any credit card details on your server. You don't have to store anything on your server. Even just by sending a post request to your server, credit card details might still be logged to your server. So you need to be really careful here. But doing it this way will mean that you don't touch any of the credit card details. So you have no liability here. So the form action for this is going to be premium underscore charge dot PHP. And that's going to be a, uh, a page that we're going to build. So let's now look at these data attributes here and exactly what we need to change. We need to change the public key here. This is the publishable key that Stripe gives us. We also need a private key that allows us to make a charge on our server. But let's go ahead and uh, look at the keys and how we can store them. So inside init.php, I'm going to up here say Stripe, and that's gonna be an array. Now inside of here, I'm gonna have a publishable key which is going to be a string, and I'm going to have a private key, which is also going to be a string. So let's copy these over, 
we head over to our dashboard, the little thing we just saw a moment ago, and we've got a test secret key, a test publishable key, and a live and publishable key. So when you switch over to production, you're gonna need the uh, live ones. So I'm gonna copy the secret key, and I'm gonna paste it into here. We can call this private or secret, it doesn't really matter. And we also need the publishable key here, which we're gonna copy, and we're gonna paste into here. So we've now got access to this Stripe array. So inside of our premium uh, page, we can go ahead and echo this out. So echo Stripe publishable. There we go. So that will inject our key into there. That's really important. It is obviously required. Now the data image, I'm not going to include here, but you can include a little image, maybe the logo of your website or something like that. I'm going to get rid of that for now, but you can go ahead and play around with uh, that if you want. So here is the name. So I'm just going to say website. Now the description is exactly what the user is paying for. So I'm just going to say premium membership. Now the amount is a little bit odd. Um, this is currently by default setting uh, set to US dollars. So I'm actually going to add an additional data attribute here to say currency. And this is going to be GBP. So I'm going to charge in uh, GBP, so pounds. Now the amount is in pence or cents or whatever. So at the moment, uh, this will be 20. So I'm just gonna do uh, 1,000 for uh, 10 pounds. So now what we can do is on premium.php, you see we get, we get this little pay, book, pay with card button. Let me just add a little paragraph up here. So you're about to go premium. Okay, so we've got our page set up here. We've got our pay with card button. Uh, if you open your uh, Chrome developer tools or whatever browser you're working with, your network tab, you can see here that when we actually refresh, uh, we do get the Stripe JavaScript file here, uh, as well as a, a few other things that, uh, that Stripe needs for this button and this, uh, this library. So um, when we click this button, as expected, we get website, premium membership, we get the £10 um, label here to say how much this is going to cost. But the user still now has to enter their email address, which is a little bit annoying. Remember, we have the user's email address stored here. So we can uh, remedy that by adding an additional data attribute. So data email. And we can set that to user email. And remember, we have that user variable just here with all them properties on. So now when I refresh and I hit pay with card, you can see it gives me my email address there already. So that's really useful. So Stripe does have, as I've mentioned, some test cards. So you can see uh, down here on stripe.com slash docs slash testing, uh, you've got a variety of different test cards for different card types. Um, at the start of the series, I was using the 4242, which is probably the easiest to remember for Visa. So we're going to be using that one here. But we need to work out what's going to go on from here. This isn't actually going to charge the user. We need to manually do that on the back end using the private key. So we now need to work out what's actually going to happen when the user successfully enters their details and submits this form. So at the moment, we obviously just have a form going through to premiumcharge.php. And the way that this works is it's going to generate a token for us, which is then going to be sent through to the page that we specify here. And that is for the sheer reason that we don't have any card details touch our server. So what we need to do is we need to create this premium charge.php page. So I'm going to create that inside of here, like so. We'll save that as premium underscore charge.php. And I'm going to actually just echo this out. Now it's sent obviously in the po it's available in the post super globals because we're sending this with a method of post. And the token name is, uh, the, sorry, the key name is Stripe token. So all I'm doing this page is I'm echoing out that token. So let's look at how this works when we submit through. So I'm going to hit pay with card. I'm going to enter my card details. And I'm going to type in an expiry and a CVC. I'm going to hit pay. And as long as that's validated and all them details are correct, we're then going to be sent through to premium charge with this token. So this token is the only details or are the only details that hit your server. No card details or anything like that touch your server at all. 
you might be thinking, well, what's the point in that? How can I then charge the user? This token we can now use to make a charge because all of your card details have been securely sent and stored with Stripe. So, or not yours, your users. So now what we can do is we can use this token to actually uh, charge the user. And we're going to be doing that with the Stripe PHP library in the next part.